Oh no, we're going to rock it down to Electric Avenue with Jeremy Hammer. He decided to bring out a Tesla to Hot Rod Drag Week 2022. First of all, Jeremy, do you feel the laser eyes of hatred from all your fellow petrol motorheads out here at the event? Uh, so so definitely not hatred. Certainly uh, when you come out and run with the guys, you play the game, you become part of the crew. That's the neat part about the drag and drive events. Uh, is there reluctance? Sure. Is there uh, a lot of folks saying not for me? Yeah, yeah, sure that too. But when you're here, when you're trying, when you're working for it, helping others out, it, the community's great. It, it's been good. So Jeremy, it seems like on every corner in America there's a gas station, not a charging station, and there are prescribed routes in Hot Rod Drag Week. How have you worked out charging with the routes and the checkpoints you have to make? Uh, good question. So when we saw the route come out, we did a little bit of math looking for chargers near each of the tracks. Thankfully this year there's charging 10 minutes up the road, India's close, Byron is close. So we knew when we were near the tracks, we were in good shape. When the daily routes come out, we sit down and make a little bit of a plan. We charge up close to the track, follow the route. A couple times we've had to stop, pause, leave the route and juice up and get back on. Um, but all in all, it's it's 2022. Aside from the, the route Thursday where we were through the cornfields up in northeast Illinois, northwest Illinois, it's been really good. Um, the, the car has plenty of range, even pulling the trailer. It's just route planning. It's it's truthfully a lot easier than what some of the folks are struggling with trying to find exotic fuels or maybe strange parts way away from home. A little bit of planning and, it, and it's been fun. What are some challenges you have with an EV in the hot rodding world, such as possibly overheating? It's my understanding that you're going to go slower as you lose power, things such as that. Good. We, we've tried to run in a class that's basically 10-0 index. The Street Machine Eliminator encourages us to run 10s. The car will go quite a bit faster than that, so we've spent the week chasing that particular ET. How do you take power out? Do you, do you feather it? Do you let off the gas? Do you run the battery down? We worked pretty hard and had our plan down Wednesday. Temperatures dropped Thursday. I was surprised how much the temperature, 30, 40 degrees ambient, made for the battery we got to start all over again at Cordova yesterday so surprisingly not that different from fuel cars right the temperature has a huge impact on it we just had to go learn and, and work on our program a little bit but again here we are Jeremy lastly give us the breakdown on your model of Tesla even the tire that you're running awesome so bone stock uh, model s plaid uh, we got the car in April have a few thousand miles on it it's basically stock aside from a hitch and a trailer light controller for the class we're in you have to run a, a race tire you can't run a street tire so we're on 275 mickey thompson's a 20 inch rim and tire truthfully the car's heavy enough it doesn't really need it but to run in the class it's what we've got so we're, we're just on a, a a mickey thompson ss and out having fun, hopefully not in the rain. Folks, Lee Craft, the Monday morning racer out here from Motor Trend getting some interviews in the pits. That's Jeremy Hammer out here, well, managing the shock of Drag Month week very well. Thank you.